So is project inversion going to happen? Will we actually drive a Formula car upside down in a tunnel? I know many of you have been wondering where we are with this project. So it's time to bring you up to speed. I announced project inversion just over a year ago, but we'd already been working on the project for a good while before that. It's been a ton of work. And to recap, this whole project was started with a question. Can we actually drive a car upside down? So I put together a team to try and understand if this was even possible. We were using everything we knew about aerodynamics, downforce and pure creativity. And honestly, the engineering part, we absolutely nailed it. The car, the tunnel and the physics, it all works. We've designed a car that can drive on the ceiling of a tunnel through aerodynamic force alone. So not using centripetal force, not using fans, but five seconds upside down through pure organic aerodynamics. However, as I've discovered over the last year, the real challenge is money. So as you might remember, the bulk of the cost involved in project inversion is the tunnel structure. Now, through our research, we found out that we couldn't actually use an existing tunnel. We were gonna have to make it ourselves. And so with our design, the raw materials and the building cost was going to be close to 14 million pounds. And raising that amount of money for a single project is no small feat. And while this would be one of the biggest engineering stunts in history, convincing companies to take that gamble has been tricky. Honestly, I was so optimistic about this project that I underestimated how difficult this part would be. So we worked with the construction company, made the detailed engineering plans and pitched to sponsors. But the reality was that 14 million was just too much. And I genuinely believe that this would be an incredible live streamed event and all the investment would easily be earned back in advertising exposure. But so far, it's been too much of a risk for a potential sponsor. So that's the core problem. But where do we go from here? Of course, it goes without saying, we don't just want to give up. So we need to figure out how to make the project cheaper. Our first approach involved working with a big civil engineering firm. Think high-end industrial scale construction. And while their engineering was excellent, it wasn't necessarily designed in the cheapest way possible. And what we actually needed with a smaller team, far more focused on cost and an innovative solution. What we needed was an approach that was more five engineers in a shed rather than a boardroom full of suits. And thankfully, I had someone reach out who fits that bill. His name is Martin Young, and he's worked with the PMI partnership for over two decades, delivering live stunt shows for titles including Top Gear and The Fast and the Furious. He has an incredible way of looking at problems, and he's come up with a concept for the tunnel structure that could significantly reduce the costs. We still have another layer of work that needs to be completed, but the estimation is that his new approach could bring the budget down to a much more manageable three million pounds. And yes, that's still a big ask, but it's a lot more realistic than 14. So on the car side, we're in great shape. There's a chassis available, the extra downforce parts have been designed and tested in CFD, and the results were great. As you might know, we chose the Empire Wraith hill climb car, which is perfect for the job because of its lightweight design and incredible downforce at lower speeds. All we need now is to convert it to run on an electric motor, fit the batteries, and add the extra aerodynamic parts. And if you're wondering about the technical barriers, there really aren't any. The car and the tunnel will work. We're confident in the engineering, and that's not just me saying it. It's been simulated and there's plenty of safety margin. In fact, solving the technical challenges has really been the easiest part of this entire journey. So is it actually going to happen? Well, yes, if we can secure the funding. We've already spent a couple of hundred thousand dollars on this project. So next, I need to try and raise some money to have a detailed analysis done on this new structure to understand precisely what it will cost and then go out and try and raise the final full amount. But with the revised estimation of a three million pound budget, I'm hopeful we can actually make it work. Once we have the funding, we estimate it'll take about 12 to 18 months to get everything ready, depending on where this project will be located. That includes building the tunnel, finishing the car and running all the tests we need. So if you're sitting there thinking, why hasn't this happened yet? 
this is why. It's not for lack of trying, I can assure you of that. It's simply that raising millions of pounds for a stunt, no matter how groundbreaking we think it is, is a challenge. But I want you to know that we're not giving up. We're closer than we've ever been to making this a reality. Now, you might be wondering why go through all of this effort? It's just a stunt. And honestly, I understand that. But this project means so much more than just driving a car upside down. For me, it's about inspiring curiosity. Imagine a young kid watching this event thinking, how on earth did they do that? That's the spark that I want to ignite. The one that leads them to explore engineering, physics and innovation. Personally, motorsport and engineering have given me so much in my life. And this project feels like a way to inspire the next generation of engineers, to show them that there are no limits to what's possible. And so I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching. This journey has been incredible, frustrating at times, but also incredibly rewarding. I've been lucky enough to work with some brilliant minds along the way, but there's also been moments where it felt like we were hitting brick wall after brick wall. So thank you for sticking with us, for your support and your enthusiasm. It means the world to us. For now, all I ask is that you stay tuned. We are not done yet, not by a long way. So until then, thank you for being part of this journey. I hope that I have some good news first. Thank you and I'll see you next time.